the undercarriage and they, oh, jeez. <laughs> the, the props are spinning in the wind. It's Levi with X Dynamics. Now you might remember a couple months ago we put out a video where Miggs and I tried to take out the Evolve 2 with a bunch of water balloons and to our surprise they just took hit after hit and kept flying. Now if you've never gotten to try to take out a drone I can tell you it is a lot of fun and today we are putting the Evolve 2 through yet another durability test. <music> So today we are driving to the hottest place we could think of that's in within a day's drive of where we live and that place is Death Valley. <coughs> One of the hottest places on earth. And we're gonna test how well the Evolve 2 can handle the extreme heat and conditions of Death Valley. Now the Evolve 2 does have a few things working to its advantage. First off, it has this large magnesium undercarriage which acts as a heat seek for the drone and it has six integrated vents in this undercarriage, two in the front and four in the back so that the air flows through the two in the front, straight back through the aircraft and out the four vents that are in the rear of the aircraft to maximize heat evacuation. Now on the motors, there's three vents on each motor to allow air to flow around the motor itself and then under each motor, there's also its own magnesium heat sink. Now, these are awesome design features that help the aircraft evacuate heat as quickly as possible in normal temperatures and under normal operating conditions. But we're gonna take it to Death Valley and see just how well it does there. All right, guys. We have finally stopped. We're a few miles outside the boundary of Death Valley National Park. Before we got out of the car, the car was saying it's just past 110 degrees and my weather app's saying it's 112. So it's plenty hot out here for this extreme heat test. And to make it even more difficult, it's very windy. I don't know how windy it is, but it's gusting. So these motors are gonna be having to work really hard to fight this crazy wind. So. We're about to throw the drone up in the air and see how the Evolve 2 can handle it. So one of the things we're gonna do so that we can get some actual data from the drone is we're gonna attempt the surfaces of the motors and the magnesium undercarriage which acts as the heat sink for the drone. We're gonna test it now before we take off and then afterwards when we come down to land. So measuring the motor before flight, it's at 105 degrees. So the drone has been sitting out in the sun for probably five minutes while we were getting it uh, set up for flight. All right, and then we got the undercarriage temping at just about 100 degrees. It's a little cooler than the motor since it's being shaded. So the drone was basically hovering in place for the first five or six minutes of the flight, but now I've actually been flying it around and we're making it fight the wind pretty hard right now. So what we have been monitoring is the battery temperature, which started out at a pretty normal like 100 degrees or so and it's climbed its way up to 123. Uh, this is the highest it's been so far, but we'll let you know if it gets any higher. Everything seems to be fine. We've gotten no overheating warnings or anything of that nature. And you can see from this drone shot, we are absolutely in the middle of nowhere. All right, so I moved into the car just to get out of the blazing sun, but the drone is doing fine and the battery temp has now reached 131 degrees which I've never seen and we're just about done with the first battery so as soon as we land it we're gonna get the temp gun on it and we'll let you know the temps of the motor and the undercarriage all right the drone's now at 20 percent battery life so it's time to bring it in before it gets too sketchy all right let's quickly temp this thing 
So starting on the motors. Okay, I'm actually blown away. The heat evacuation system must actually be doing pretty well because I can't get a temp higher than 112 degrees. That's actually, I'm actually shocked. Yeah, they're not even hot to the touch. I'm actually blown away. I expected these to be pretty hot at this point. Hold on, I gotta turn off the drone. Let's check the undercarriage and the, oh, jeez. <laughs> The, motor, the props are spinning in the wind. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Um, so even the bottom is temping 106. So I gotta say I'm pretty impressed. Can you see it? Yeah. Again, I can't believe the drone performed this well. Everything else that has a cooling design system stayed very cool, even in these high temps and extreme wind conditions. I'm impressed. Every time I try to kill this drone, it surprises me, and we haven't killed it yet, but we got more chances in the future, so stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out of here. <laughs>